In this problem, we have that x squared plus 11x plus 17 is equal to 21x plus 41. The first thing we're going to do is rearrange the terms to get the x terms on the left side and move the numbers to the right side. To do that, I'll just do this in one step. Let's just subtract 21x from both sides. And let's subtract 17 from both sides. That way I'll have the x terms on the left and the numbers on the right. So I'll have x squared minus 11 minus 21 is just 10, so minus 10x. And that's equal to 41 minus 17 is just 24. Now we're ready to complete the square. So to complete the square, take the x term coefficient of minus 10 and divide it by 2. Minus 10 divided by 2 is minus 5. Then you have to square that number right afterwards. So minus 5 squared is equal to positive 25. And that's the number we're going to add to both sides to complete the square. So if we add 25 to both sides. I'll have x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 24 plus 25. 24 plus 25 is just 49. And now let's factor this. x squared minus 10x plus 25 factors as x minus 5 squared. The quick trick is you just take your middle coefficient of minus 10 and divide it by 2 to get minus 5. And this is equal to 49. Let me erase all this stuff here. And then now we're ready to take a square root. So just take the square root of both sides to cancel out that squared. And then the square and the square will cancel here and left with x minus 5 is equal to the square root of 49 is going to be plus or minus 7. And then let's add 5 to both sides. So I'm going to get that x is simply equal to 5 plus or minus 7. And I can just find both solutions very easily by taking the positive and the negative solution. 5 plus 7 equals 12. That's one solution. 5 minus 7 equals negative 2. That's our other solution. So therefore, x has the solutions of 12 and minus 2 in this equation. And just like that, we're done.